Hey, I'm Tim and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a inspection port or storage port in a Thundercat just like this one that allows you to keep all your gear whatever you need tucked away and dry this can be used for like I am in a Thundercat a boat inflatable yacht or anything really with a cavity as such that you can drill into and then add one of these so I'm just going to start by marking up where I want it so I've got the measurements from this side um, and I'll put the same ones on this side so that they're nice and even and then I get a good fit so you want it just basically see wherever you want it measure it up and then put some markings on as I'm going to do now so now I've put my markings in I'm going to measure the back of this I made my life easy by grabbing a plate that's about the same size and I'm going to use that to draw my shape so I'm going to put it on my marking remembering that that's the inside of that and I'm carefully going to mark it holding it in place making sure it's not moving as you can see there idea of where I want it and that's marked out to this inside edge so that when I cut that out it will fit in there nicely you always want to check that it looks roughly right because it's one thing to mark it out but if it doesn't look right then there's something wrong just before you cut it so now that you're sure that your markings correct and you're happy with where it's gonna go you want to drill a hole and then I'm gonna use a jigsaw to cut it around. But alternatively, you could drill holes right the way around, press it through, sand it back. But I was fortunate enough to have access to a jigsaw, so I'm just gonna use that to cut a nice hole. So start by drilling your hole. Helps to have a vacuum to uh, get rid of all the stuff as you're going. I'm going to grab my jigsaw and just follow on the inside of the line, on the inside not the outside, just to start off with to give me my rough cut circle. Then you want to give it a sand around the edges to get any, rid of any roughness and any sharp stuff. You could use sandpaper, but I'm going to use a Dremel. So that there brings us to the outer pencil line. So we're just e etching away at it, getting it to um, where we want it to be. It's a lot better to do that because it's more controlled with this than with a jigsaw, I find. And then finally, I'm just going to go over any hard edges with a hand sand rid of any sharp corners. I'll then dry fit the inspection board to make sure that I'm happy that it's going to fit well. Looks about right. Just move that around and position it where I want it to be. Get it nice and straight when I do put it in. I'm then going to find my orientation of how I want this. So I want my the bolt pattern to be the same as this side or these two upright. It actually has a center mark down here where I can see it's joined so I'm just going to line that up with my marking at the bottom here. Then I'm going to grab a bit of tape to hold it in place while I want to drill my bolt holes or rivet holes. Check that I'm happy how it looks. Nice and level. So I'm going to use rivets to put it in because I don't ever plan on taking this out. But you could use screws or bolts. Um, these rivets are 4 mil, so I'm going to now drill a 4 mil hole through each of these because I'm happy with where this is sitting and then I'll start to put the rivets in and put some silicon around it to keep it waterproof. Once I'm happy all my holes are drilled and straight I can remove the storage port. I'm then going to put some gloves on and wipe it with some 
isopropyl alcohol just to get rid of any dust and dirt and all debris so that it'll seal well when I put the silicon on. Rub all around this edge and rub this edge too. And then gonna get some marine adhesive sealant or 291 Seeker Flex, which is just a black silicon basically that uh, helps us stick and waterproof really well. So I'm gonna put a thin bead right around the edge of that and then also on the bolt holes or rivet holes to stop water going through them and then I'll stick it in place. So then I put the thin bead right the way around, even in the centre. Put an extra amount around the rivet holes. That's to ensure you get a good seal when you press it on there and no water will come in. You want to make sure that there's no gaps. So once you've got your bead right the way around and you're happy that it's going to seal properly, you're going to line it up and press it on in line with your rivet holes. Grab your rivet gun and rivet them on. Once you've done that, for a final cleanup, you want to get some rubbing alcohol and put it on a rag and clean off any silicon that's left over so you get a nice clean edge. Sweet, so that's how we put a storage port or inspection port in a Thundercat or any similar cavity that you have on board your boat, yacht, whatever. That's the final product there. So it's perfect for me because I wanted to keep a speaker in there or phones or VHF, water bottle, whatever. And I don't have it bouncing around in the boat while I'm driving as well as keeping it super dry and it looks cool so yeah stoked with that give it a try